spiritual retreats for peace in the country, built for April 10 and 11. Of Igat. The meeting with South Sudan's warring sides will take place at Vatican's St. Marth residence. The retreat was an idea of the leader of the Anglican Church, Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. He was also present at the retreat with the two leaders in conflict. The Pope offered his house, Santa Marta, as the venue for this meeting, which sought to go beyond a purely diplomatic dimension. Part of South Sudan's future transitional government and members of the Council of Churches from the country also participated. Without breaking the atmosphere of recollection, Pope Francis took the floor. He recalled that the first duty of a ruler is to protect peace. The meeting ended with a prayer. Then the Pope spoke off the cuff with words addressed directly to the two leaders responsible for the war. Vi chiedo come fratello, I ask you as a brother, rimanete nella pace. Stay in peace. Vi lo chiedo col cuore. I'm asking you with my heart. In an unforeseen gesture, Pope Francis approached Salva Kerr, Rik Machar, and the vice presidents of the country and kissed all of their feet.